On today's episode of The Lonely Ab, I'm going to show you how to make whole grilled redfish. Oh, que rico. That's so good. We're stuffing the redfish with lemons from this lemon tree. And rosemary from these rosemary bushes that we have growing in the side yard. We need to prep the fish by stuffing the insides with lemon and rosemary. One thing about buying whole fish is you want to make sure it's fresh. And the best way to tell if it's fresh is by looking at the eyes. So if you zoom in on these eyes, you'll see that these eyes are clear. If the eyes are cloudy, do not buy the fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my left hand to stabilize the fish cavity. And I'm going to stuff the inside with lemons and rosemary. And I'm using lemons and rosemary because that's what we have here. So that's the freshest thing we can get. So even you, if you just have one arm to use, you can figure out ways to get it done. We're gonna drizzle the outside of the fish with extra virgin olive oil. Now we can take the stuffed fish, put them on foil, wrap them up loosely, and get them ready to go in the oven. <laughs> on the grill. Now it's time to put the fish on the grill. grilled lemons fresh off this tree. Now we have all of the parsnips peeled and cut. So I'm gonna put these parsnips in vegetable broth and I'm gonna cook them a little while. We're gonna add peeled and roasted garlic. I'm trying to cook things that are healthy and delicious and that are low in sodium for high blood pressure and that they have controlled carbs for diabetes and I'm diabetic type two. So my friend David Gomez told me, he loves to watch the videos, but he wanted me to say that if at any point you're watching these videos and you wanna make it a little different to make it your own, feel free to do so. So if you wanna add a little, let's say spice, because you like hotter foods, you may wanna add chili flakes. Do whatever you wanna to do to make these meals your own. And thanks for the tip, David. The next step is to add the unsweetened organic almond milk to the mashed roasted parsley. Preparing the spinach. This is really easy. All I'm doing is taking two packs of frozen spinach. I have these imported cocktail onions. I'm just going to pour what we have left of it with the juice into the saute pan going to saute this on low and stir it uh, maybe every five minutes. Oh, I smell that lemon and the fish. Mm. And the last step is plating. So as you can see here, we have the two red snappers whole. They're filled with rosemary and lemon. We have the roasted and then mashed parsnips. We have a little sauce that we made simply out of parsley, lemon juice, and olive oil. And then we have the spinach with the pearl onions. Ladies, are you ready for lunch? Yes, yes Chef. 